You may never have realized it, but human existence is really lonely. Don't you think so? Think about it. We are completely alone in the midst of an infinity of galaxies and planets. Isn't this strange? Why have only we been able to evolve into a species capable of creating life? These questions are very interesting and tell us about one of the greatest enigmas of our race. However, are we really alone? All probabilities seem to indicate that we are not. But humanity is still reluctant to believe in life outside the Earth. Even so, although skepticism is great, it seems that it won't be long before we discover what is hidden in the stars. Although it would be more appropriate to say that what dwells in space will discover us. There are galaxies that could harbor advanced life, and if you join us in today's journey, we will tell you the secrets of a few galaxies that could be about to reveal one of their most enigmatic mysteries to us. When it comes to life in space, there are a variety of studies and research that have tried to shed light on these possibilities. It is not an easy task. To be able to answer what is hidden in other galaxies, it is necessary to understand how the universe was formed and the distribution of space. Unfortunately, there is no book or even a clue that can be used to make the task easier. Space offers a myriad of questions and enigmas, but there is no one who can answer them. We are completely alone in this challenge. Perhaps that is why, since the time of the Sumerians, we humans have tried to understand the stars through hypothesis and analysis. And only on that basis we have been able to make sense of what is outside our planet. Just for that reason, the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society has published an article that supports a very interesting idea about galaxies, space, and the possibility of finding extraterrestrial life out there. The author of the project is Leiding University's astronomer Hong Ying Chin, and in his paper he describes a theory developed by his research team. However, before discussing his work, it is necessary to understand the basis of his research. It is based on the Kardashev 3 theory, which was developed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. It uses a particular method to judge the intelligence of an extraterrestrial civilization according to the amount of energy it is capable of using. It seems logical, don't you think? Humans could measure the capability of other planets according to the way their civilization can consume their natural resources and convert them into something different such as weapons, machinery, or technology. With this idea, Kardashev developed three types of intelligence and classified them into Type 1 civilizations, which can only store their planet's energy, Type 2, which can control the energy of a star, and Type 3, which are those who can use and control the energy of their entire galaxy. Thanks to this classification, we can give a different meaning to the universe and what we find in it. Extraterrestrial life could be within one of these three types or even inferior to ours. In fact, we could find civilizations that are just in the initial stages of their development and are more rudimentary than ours. Or, on the contrary, ultra-developed civilizations capable of using all the resources of their ecosystem. Both offer infinite and, in some cases, dangerous possibilities. What might humanity face in the event that it encounters advanced civilizations? Science fiction has already tried to answer these questions, and the results are very rarely favorable to humans. Even so, the research conducted by Hong Ying Chen's team does not seem to bring us hope. After several months of work, Chen's team detected something spooky. Their main goal was to find energetic traces in different galaxies. The idea was to understand the ecosystems of planets with some trace of resource consumption, and, apparently, they found something disturbing by examining the results of the LOFAR 2-meter sky survey. This project is creating a radio map of the entire northern sky. And thanks to it, four galaxies that qualify as Type 3 were found. According to the emissions captured by the infrared, a civilization that we have not been able to discover could be hiding in these places. Of these four scenarios, two have natural explanations. 
The first one was an active galactic nucleus that had been consuming its ecosystem bit by bit, while the second case involved a star-forming galaxy whose energy release occurred naturally without anyone intervening. However, the remaining two cases are a different story. They are ILT J134649 and ILT J145757. Both have a solar system very similar to that of the Earth, with conditions that could favor life, and they have strange energy consumption patterns that have not yet been explained. It seems that both galaxies have been methodically using their resources, although no life has been observed so far. Nevertheless, research seems convinced that we have not discovered the roots of this mystery. There is still much to be discovered and perhaps we could find an answer in these galaxies much sooner than many of us might think. Even if this project fails and the results show that the galaxies do not have extraterrestrial life, according to research led by scientists at Cornell University, there are about 2,034 stellar systems with similar patterns to the Earth. But this is not all. Out of these 2,034 star systems, about 1,715 have direct visibility to Earth, and another 319 will also have it in the next 5,000 years. This means that if there is an enemy out there looking for us with the same impatience that humanity has, they will find us. There is no doubt about it. Our planet is in the sights of other galaxies, and the day will come when there will be no need to look for extraterrestrial life because one morning, they will have found us. Of course, we can still rest assured that day is probably not a part of our near future. However, we'd better be prepared, especially since humanity is considered to barely be Type 1, and we would virtually be unarmed in the face of a space attack. If you have enjoyed these disturbing findings and still feel eager to know the mysteries of space, then you better explore our channel to discover its mysteries. Check out these videos and get ready to learn all the secrets they don't tell you at school or on TV.